Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. My name is Sobin Dalko. Welcome. I want to share with you uh, one of the most important ingredients in this life when it comes to living on this earth and doing something meaningful with your life, making a difference with your life. Um, living from within, living the life that uh, we desire belief system belief system we are what we believe we are we are what we believe we are belief system is everything if you can if you, if you can condition a man to believe that he can overcome everything on this earth and achieve his dream if you can work on that belief system, if you can condition a man to believe that, nothing is impossible with that man. That man will leave that belief. At the same time, if you can condition a man to believe that he's disadvantaged, he's a victim, and nothing works, and he's powerless and everything that will ever change in his life is, is, is in the hands of another man, that man will end up with that kind of life. Belief system is everything. If you believe that you're powerful and you're in charge of your life, by all means, you will end the life with that. If you believe that you're powerless, <laughs> then your life will reflect that powerlessness that you so believe. So a man is just an expression of his belief system. A woman is an expression of his belief system, of a belief system. Whatever that we express is coming out of our belief system. You know, so your belief system, you know, shapes your thoughts. And your thoughts decide, you know, your decisions. And your decisions, you know, affect the way you act. And your actions that you take will shape the results of your life. So belief system is, is omnipotent. <laughs> it's everything. It's everything. All behavior is belief-driven. Every behavior that you put up is coming out of your belief, what you believe, whether it's good or bad, whether it's powerful or less powerful, whether it's a negative, negative or positive belief system is everything. <laughs> everything that we are is coming out of our belief system. So whatever you believe you are is really what you are. Whatever you believe you are is really what you are. Subconsciously, we just expressing that which we really believe we are. So if you believe that we can overcome every challenge in our lives and build something for ourselves, we are. You do that. If you believe that everything else must come to us, we are selfish, innately, we don't care about everybody, it's only us on the throne that will affect the way we make decisions. You know. But if you believe that all human beings deserve quality life and we are good at heart, our actions will be influenced that way. So most pe people operate below their, um, their, their potential. Most people in this world, many operate beyond, below their potential because that's, that's the kind of belief system that the world has pushed on us. And so a lot of people only think that they can achieve so little or on the average because that's the kind of belief system that they have pushed on us. And especially those of us uh, from Africa, the belief system. The belief system that is coming from the culture, the belief system that is coming from the education, the belief system that is coming from the religion, the belief system that is coming from all the things that <laughs> shaped us when we were growing up. This belief system is responsible for everything else that is happening in our lives as individuals and in our lives as a group of people. So belief system, you always blame people if you're the kind of pe person who would always want to blame somebody for whatever happens in your life and you are just having reasons to tell us why your life is where it is and why things are difficult for you, why the government is not doing well, why your mother did not send you to school, why your brother did not help you to get that opportunity, why you can't have any job because you know, nobody wants to give you a job. Why you think that you were half educated, you are short, you are small, you are dark, you are tall. All the things, all the negative things that you continuously say to yourself, they are coming out of your belief system. Your belief system about life in general, about God, about money, 
about career, about people, about character, even your work ethics, they reflect our belief system. They reflect our belief system. But the good thing is that we can change this belief system. We can transform it. It may have been put, it may have been put on us over all these years. But the moment we come to the realization that this belief system is really uh, uh, preventing us from living the life that we want, we can start to work on it. We can start to work on it. So what is a belief system? The belief system is a program of thoughts. <laughs> you know, that really generate the emotions and the feelings that, that cause us uh, to take particular actions and make particular decisions. You know, they are coming out of the thoughts and the program that we have had from all these things. The environment, the culture, the education, the family, things that they told us, and as the same that they told us, everything that they told us. That has formed a particular way of thinking, a particular way of reacting to situations and interpreting things in a particular way. Those things, they have formed the way we react, the way we behave, the way we act under any circumstance. And that is the belief system. You know, so most people's belief system are, are coming, most people will never change their belief system because they are not, they, are, they don't even know that it's the belief system that is preventing them from living the life that they want to live. Most people think that somebody else is responsible for the life that, <laughs> that they are living. You know, so there's a demon somewhere that is responsible for them not getting ahead of life or there is a particular something somewhere that's why their business is not, is not doing well or their family is not doing it that's why they are not rich that's why they are not progressing with their career that's why they have the issues that they have they never look at their belief system most people never believe that it is their belief system that is responsible for <laughs> the kind of results that you're experiencing every day you know so your belief system on on race on tribe on on, on your country you know, the things that you think you can change. What do you see for your life? It's reflecting uh, or it's emanating from your belief system. You know, your religious things that you have told you, they have affected your, 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 your personal belief system. But you can, you can transform belief systems because people put them on us. We are not born with them. We got them here. We had them here. And they are responsible for the results that we are getting. They actually build the inner strength, the inner fortitude, the inner energy, the drive that we, we have to go after our dreams. And so if all these things that they have told us are not right, we can rewind them. We can look at them and say that this one <laughs> is responsible for everything that I'm living. But we come from an environment where people don't want to own up to the kind of belief system that they are formed and the kind of lifestyle, the kind of results that you are getting. You know, so your current belief system was created. Your belief system was created by the past information that they gave us, the parents, the teachers, the elders, the media, the church, the politics, the radio, <laughs> in those days, they have shaped our belief system, the current one that we have. So if we are not happy with the results, whether it's the family, whether it's the business, whether it's the career, whether it's the money, whatever that we are not happy with, we can link them out. You know, we can link them to the kind of belief system that we have had or we've been told on them. So if we accept them as true, even though they are not getting us the results that we are getting, but we still accept them as true, then they will, we will not change them. There are belief systems that you have had for instance, if, if you believe that your tribe, you if you if you open a business, you have to work with your tribe people, you know, the people from your village, the people from your tribe. And you think that everybody else's tribe is not good. You have you find fault with everybody else's tribe. So anywhere you go, all your friends are coming from your tribe. All your all your persuasions are from your tribe. What what they told you, all the lies that they told you about other people, other tribes, that is a belief system. Now you have employ all of them in your company. The company is suffering and you still believe that <laughs> your tribe knowledge that they told you is right. It's right. And that is a serious belief system, which you can change. Which you can change. We can all change. We can all improve on our belief system. Our belief system is also, you know, due to some of the things that uh, out of emotions, our, the way we react emotionally to situations. 
have a lot to do has a lot to do with the kind of belief system that they, 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 they uh, you know that was formed on us let's say when you're growing up and um, you had a bad experience with say uh i remember there was a time that uh, i saw uh, my grandfather's sheep somewhere going and i wanted to you know channel them to the house so I ran after them and then there was this big dog <laughs> which was there so the moment i was trying to move the sheep the, the dog started to chase me i had to run now from that point i never liked dogs again that 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 form that experience formed some kind of belief in me so i don't like dogs you know if 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 i don't want dogs in my house why it's because of a particular traumatic experience that i had so our emotions, when you when I see dog, the way I react, is form a kind of belief system in it. So when I see dog, when I see somebody playing with dogs and having a lot of them, I can't relate. So the same, some kind of traumatic experiences can also shape our belief system. So you can see that some women say that uh, if I'm coming from a, uh, a home that uh, my father did not treat my mother well, and uh, he left us and uh, he divorced them, I tend to believe that then all men are bad. That's a belief system because of a particular experience that happened, you know, and because that experience happened, I formed that a lot of my decisions will, will come out of that. So even if I see a good man, I still want to say that all men are not good. All men are bad because of that kind of condition that I went through. It's a belief system. So I look at that. I look at the world now from that way, and it may not necessarily be so. It may just be that my father was bad. It's not mean that every man is bad, <laughs> you know. So, uh, fortunately, we have the power to change that belief if we start to get the right kind of information. So, but the most dangerous aspect of it is the limiting ones, the limiting belief system, the ones that are helping you to live your dreams. You could improve them, but the ones that are preventing you to live your dreams, limiting belief systems about money, about career about living out of your potential, about not living the average life, about, about living your dream, empowering yourself, believing that you have what it takes to live the life that you want. Those kind of belief systems are the thing. that I mean, that is the one that I think every one of us would have to look at again. You know, so if you really believe that the kind of family you are born into is the reason why you are not going forward, you know, you believe that your father was poor, your mother was poor, so you cannot achieve anything. That's a, that's a damaging belief system. If you believe that you were born a woman, therefore there's so much, you know, there's that much little that a woman can do to change anything. Or if you believe that, oh, you as an individual, what can you change when the country is going bad? You are just one person. What can you do to do anything? You know, you, you hear those kind of comments all the time. That what can you see? What can you do? Just one person. You know, when the president, if the president makes a decision, then everything will change. But all of us, you are just in your one corner. What can you do? That's a limiting belief system. That is a limiting belief system. I have looked for jobs all my life. I've not, I'm not getting, I've been in the house for, for the last five years. What does do you, is Ghana is very tough. It's difficult. It's so difficult to make life here. I have to move. It's a limiting belief system. If you switch it to the potential that you have within you, all these all this belief system were formed by particular information, which was very much limiting. Now, if you start to get other information that is empowering, you can change a lot of things in your life. But the world as it is has 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 spread a lot of limiting belief system on humans. So most women, most men or most people live out of limiting belief system. And they tell us to be very careful and very much, you know, accurate and just stay within our lane. Those are all have programmed us to be very much limiting. And, and you don't need that because the moment you get to that, you will never move forward with your life. Because it's like you worry something. Belief system is like you worry something. If you don't like it, you can change it. But it's the awareness to know that what I'm wearing is not right. That awareness to see, to know that, okay, this jacket I'm wearing is not nice. Can you see that it's not nice? It's not getting me the results that I want. Or this tool that I'm using is not getting me the results that I want. So I have to change it. So belief system is like a tool or it's like cloth. It's, it's something that you put on you, on you. On you. Whether you are aware or you're not aware, 
So you look at life from that, or it's like shit that your um, glass that you're, you're 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 wearing. You look at life that way. You see some of the boys that wear uh, this uh, this dark glass. Even when you're in the church, they still wear them. I wonder the the sun glass. You know, they, wear, they still wear them. <laughs> Even when you're in the room, like you know, Sakodi and those kind of things, they look at work from that. So if you you're wearing it and it's red. The things that you will see will be red. If it's green, you look at the word, you know, green. Or if it's yellow, the same. So you can change it. You can remove that and put another there. It's easier said than done, though. But the awareness that my belief system is responsible for all the results that I'm getting is, is a serious awareness and it's a serious discovery that if you can think like that, for instance, when we finished school and uh, we were doing our national service, I didn't think like I had to write an application to go and look for a job. I, I didn't know. I mean, I, I was not aware. I didn't know what I was trying to do. But when people were saying there was no job, there was no job, I didn't, I didn't bother. Because what? I mean, you can't do something for, for yourself. If there's no job, so far as you can be proud of what you are doing, they say there's no job. If I can carry cassava from the village and sell it in the city, that's a job. That's a belief system. I thought through and said that, ah, okay, if somebody is working and they pay him 1000 a month, the whole year is 12000 Can I do something to get that 12000 so? Isn't that work as well? So it's a belief system. It's the way you look at life. Somebody would have said that, uh, you know, it's so difficult. You, go, you finish university, you sit in the house, and nobody wants to employ you. That becomes another belief system. So a lot of us give a lot of excuses. And that and those kind of excuses have limited our, our lives. You know, some people will say that I don't know the I don't have the right network, the right connection. I don't know anybody who is powerful to help me. That's a limiting factor. It's a limiting belief system. Somebody will say that hey, you know, I'm always exhausted. I don't have time to read a book or upgrade my life. You have time to go to work, you have time to do every other thing, but you don't have time to read or do something that will improve your life, improve your brain every day. It's a limiting belief system because your life is not going to improve until the knowledge that is coming is improving constantly. You know, the knowledge that you are, you are getting every day, that knowledge, is, if it's not improving, your life is not going to improve. Forget. And so I think that if you work eight hours, <laughs> there should be more than that. Other than that, your life is not going to improve as you want it. So you can put all the hours working, but if your knowledge of money is still the very old knowledge that much limiting, you will not get the money. You know, if karate is a problem for you and you're still running with that old information on karate because you say that I don't have time to, you know, go and read a book. And that's very amazing, amazing for me when a lot of our people have very much little appreciation for knowledge. Uh, sorry, the network. A lot of our people have very much limited appreciation, a very limited appreciation for knowledge. And so they think that knowledge is acquisition of knowledge, self-development, always trying to do something to expand your mind, expand your, your knowledge and upgrade yourself. They have very much limited appreciation for it. You see somebody says that he's an entrepreneur. He goes to the library or he goes to the bookshop, he never looks at any book. You ask him, when was the last time you read any book? They don't think that is even important. It's amazing. So how is your life going to improve when you don't have any, when you have very little appreciation for knowledge, for things that will constantly improve you? That's a limiting belief system because they think that they don't have time. They'll go work, I go to work, I come home very tired, very exhausted, I eat and sleep. If you go through that kind of lifestyle without doing anything constantly, information, whether you're listening to an audio, reading a book, watching some video constantly. If you cannot feed yourself, if you cannot, if you cannot create an environment that is that is that you're always hearing something new in, on the things that can improve your life, your life is not going to change. That's a limiting belief uh, system. Somebody will say that, oh no, you know the business that you want me to start, I don't have money. I don't have money. I cannot. How can you start a business without money? How can you become better without money? In this life, everything is money. And, you know, if you're rich, you, would, you, you have to. Those are limiting belief system. Those are limiting belief system. If you don't, <laughs> if you cannot start a business with an idea and you think that you have to have money to start a business, 
It's a limiting belief system that you have placed on yourself. And some of the young people are very much into this kind of thinking. They will come up with all kind of arguments. And all the arguments that you have, I thought that the argument that you build up should be an argument that to make you strong. This should be an argument that to give you an edge. Why should you build an argument to make you feel like nothing, to make you feel little? It's like most Africans, you know? They are so much in tune, or they so much quickly agree with somebody who refers to Africans as nothing. Or refer to us who are living in Africa as corrupt and all the things that they use to describe us. And they're so much, you know, passionate in trying to let us understand and accept that we are nothing. And we are corrupt, and we are backward, and we are not going anywhere. I'm like, if you have that kind of energy... Why don't you look at the other side? Because it's the other side. It's not. Sometimes the people believe believe that once you start to take all the bad things, people will change. It's not true. You 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 talk to your wife, eh, and tell her all the bad things that she does, and never focus on the good things, and think that because you are telling her all the bad things, she will change. You continue. If you focus on the bad, the bad will grow. You know, so you are just, uh, you, when you focus on the weakness and the things that you're not good at and you hammer them and you're spreading them and you're just saying that you are being realistic. We, 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 we are very realistic people, you know, we, we, you know, all the things. They are realistic because they don't have substance. What they call real, being realistic is because they don't have substance. If you want to improve something, you look at that which is positive. You build strength because it's strength that brings progress and expansion. It's not a weakness. You cover the weakness so that you don't you don't destroy what you have built. But you cannot win with your weakness. So if you hear people say, oh, Africa is shithole, full of this, it's because they are limited in thinking. They are limited. They don't know. They believe, their belief system on Africa is weak. It's limiting. But they, they are many. If a, if a white man says something, even if it's wrong, Africans will believe it. It's amazing. Majority of the Africans who believe it because of the belief system, because of the history, because of the culture, because of the things that we've been told about these guys. You know, you can hear somebody say that me, even if I go to America and I sleep on the street, I'll be very much happy. But why does he have that kind of belief system? Because he was told. So somebody else is here, he's building his companies, built houses, but he will sell all of those things and go and buy visa and go to America. Then when he gets there, <laughs> and he sees that is I was wrong. It's a limiting belief system. You do not change anything by by focusing on the on the wrong thing. So if you if you continue to elaborate on the weakness in your in your wife, you think that she'll become better? No, she becomes better when you're focusing on her strengths, on the things that she is good at. When you continue to elaborate that, then she the, the weakness will diminish, will become small. You know, so it's a limiting belief system. So your, your belief system on money, it doesn't have to be limiting. It doesn't have to. You, you build an argument to make yourself. <laughs> so if somebody who said, I'm not an intelligent person. You know, I'm not that intelligent. Who told you that you're not intelligent? Who? Every human being is an intelligent person. Depends on who is talking to you. And it depends on who has trained you and what has trained you. And it depends on the self-discoveries that you have done. Every human being. When you were in school, the guy who was last, they thought that he was not intelligent. Who said that he was not intelligent? So it was just that you put the guy in the, in, the, in the wrong class and you teach him wrong things. The same guy could be somebody who could be a very good shooter, a very good farmer, a very good computer programmer, a very good mechanic or tailor who told you that they were not intelligent. It's never any human being who is not intelligent. So if you use those words on yourself, if you use those words on yourself, you build wrong belief system and they will limit you from achieving. And the world is full of those. The world is constantly telling us that we are limited in thinking. We are limited in, you know, so you hear some things are like, you know, somebody will say that, no, I'm a very quiet person. I don't like trouble. I don't like controversy. I don't like, you know, I am. you want to achieve anything and you don't want trouble and controversy. Forget. Just say what you have to say. Just be polite, but say what you have to say. Let people know what you stand for. Don't build any limiting belief system because that belief system will shape 
your future you know so somebody also say i'm not confident enough i don't have enough confidence in myself you know i don't have any skill to to build the future that i want who told you why you why do you focus on this west why do you build your whole life on this west and because the world has programmed us not to leave the superpower within us the world has has told us it's like telling a poor man to be humble i always get amazed when you are telling a, somebody who is poor to be humble the condition itself is humbling enough for you to continue to tell people that be humble, be humble. Well, I remember the time that, you know, sometimes when you go to church, preachers are preaching and they're telling us that don't be arrogant, be humble. Like, what do you, we're already poor, we are humble enough, you know? <laughs> the arrogance of the poor man is noise. It is not, it's not arrogance at all, you know? The, the, the pride of a poor man is really not pride. So we are already humble by the poverty. So don't tell people to be humble. <laughs> tell them to be respectful. But they have to be aggressive and go after their dream. Go after their dream. Go after their dream. So don't interpret things for your weakness. It's a wrong belief system. And don't say people that I don't have the talent, I don't have the skills, I don't have the expertise. If you don't have the expertise, start to build one. Because nobody was born with any expertise. All of us have got to learn from where we are. You know, and people, people say, I'm not happy with my life. I don't know where I'm going. It's all wrong belief system. Who told you? <laughs> you are not happy with your life. So it's a decision. Be happy with your life. Who told you that the rich man? So, you know, so there are a lot of things that they have told us. Like uh, uh, the way people say that when the man has money, it means that he's rich. You sure? You can be an unrobber and have money. Does that mean that you're rich? The very rich people don't use money to judge themselves. Those who have a lot of wealth, money is not on the table for them to judge themselves. If, as a matter of fact, if somebody has to come up and tell you that they are very rich and they are cocky and they are proud, you are not rich. You are really not rich. They're, they're, no. The very rich in this life, so much calm and respectful. And, and, and that which convinces them. Look at the people they call rich. Look at a lot of them. You see how so bad they are? How much unconcerned <laughs> they are? How much respectful they are? Look at them. Just look. From afar, I've not met any, any, many of them. They're very rich. I'm going to tell those guys. But the books that I've read, I've heard that they are very much humble people. If you're in their presence, you'll never see that. Because that's the real wealth. That's why they have a lot of them. So don't say that I'm, I'm not happy, uh, my life is not going the way that I want. It's a wrong belief system. Who told you that when you, have, when you have that money, you'll be happy? If your belief system is wrong, no matter how much money they give you, you'll still not be happy. Because it's a wrong belief system that you have cultivated. No matter how much money they You think that you don't have money to buy food, so you're sad. Uh. <laughs> you're not being able to buy food, and you're being happy, or not being happy. The word apart. So it's a belief system. Some pe a lot of us have put a lot of wrong belief system on ourselves. Oh, the, you know, the bicycle that I bought, the car that I bought, everybody's jealous of me. You sure? <laughs> Entertaining yourself. And some people will tell you that, you know, I'm very old. I can't go after anything. I mean, where I am, I'm 50 years I'm very old. You are 50 years on your old. Somebody is 92 years. Is, is you run for presidency the last time and won, and you say that you are you are what you are 60, 50 years. You're old. It's a limiting belief system. It's a limiting belief system, and your belief system is responsible for everything that you're achieving, or you're not achieving. And the world has really, really pushed us not to have elaborate belief system that makes us as not unlimited at all or unlimited at all. Because everything is programmed to make us submissive and belittle an average, especially those of us from this continent. It's a wrong belief system. So don't buy them. Any dream that you set for yourself is achievable if you're ready to pay the price. The business that you want to start, lack of money should not stop you. If you want a happy family, you can build a happy family. It's a belief system. If you want money, you can build wealth. And at least at your level, you can build it. It's a belief system. 
but we are programmed in an environment where we have very little appreciation for knowledge. I think that is the problem. So when you all around the world, when you see young men and women aggressively going for knowledge in, in, in becoming better at what they do, constantly, seminars, listening, developing themselves, reading, we, we are caught up in culture, <laughs> cultural renditions <laughs> and religion. And religion so there's so much limiting factors that we have lived so go for that dream there should not be anything that should limit you which is that which makes you unhappy sad the things that make you frustrated those are the things that you should pay attention to to change because those are the areas that your belief system is wrong the things that you become very frustrated with. What are the things that you're not happy? It's because you are he you are holding on to a belief system. Because the belief system is responsible for that. That, that resource. They shape your thoughts. They shape your actions. They shape your habits. Your behavior. They are coming from that belief system. And that belief system was, form, was formed by the culture. The assumptions that you have, you have cultivated. Because the assumptions actually... Assumptions. assumptions so you can upgrade them if your life you don't like them you should you should be able to set out challenging challenging complex goals for yourself that will that will come in confrontation with your belief system so that what you want to do and you, you which you are shaving you are shaking which everybody thinks that you can do can you say that this one i want to try that which will lift you to your dreams can you say? Can you challenge that? Because that's the best way to challenge the belief system. The wrong ones, the limiting ones. What is it that you want to achieve? Go for that. Go for that. You say that, oh, you cannot, nobody in our, in our family has built a business. Uh, say that I want to do it. The moment you set that, you see all the fear will come out. <laughs> you start to shiver. <laughs> you start to panic. Because all the program that they have given you in the family is that oh, here we are all teachers. We don't want trouble. We don't want to owe anybody. We don't want any controversy, any disagreement. We impair one And yet that family is broke. That family is, that family is poor. And you as a young man say that, no, I will not take this part. I want to do something. You will shake. Your mother will come and advise you. Your brother will say that, who do you think you are? It's a challenge for you. That's why you confront belief systems. And so when you believe that you can do it, go ahead and do it. But you have to change the information that is coming constantly. Constantly. Challenge the assumptions. Because belief systems ultimately are assumptions anyway. <laughs> they are not the fact. <laughs> or they are not the truth. They are assumptions. And the closer you are, to the truth, that's why they work or they don't work. So if they are not working and they are creating frustration and sadness and pain constantly, it means that the belief system is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. The moment you start to get to your goals, you see that you start to build better belief system, better worldview, better perspective of you are, your skill, your talent, the things that you can achieve for yourself. So challenge, confront them. Don't leave them like that. Don't buy it that ah, we, we don't have enough money. Our family, we don't have enough money. So nobody should try. We are poor. We cannot go and get a degree because nobody can, can get a degree. That is not. We are all carpenters. You know, uh, it's Africa. It's Africa is not, you know, like they say that today is AU day. If you, if you look at Facebook, a lot of these Africans are, are talking down on themselves. Like what has the AU achieved for us and... You, you, do you really believe that this time the, the British should be ruling us? You really believe that? You have no chance of achieving your destiny if you have no freedom. No chance. There's no chance the slave will ever live their dreams or their purpose. So at least if the independence was even not even right, we had the chance to try and keep on trying. No matter how much we have missed it, still better than being. Can you imagine South Africa under apartheid? No. No. 
the people ruled us for 300 years or so. I mean, colonization, slavery, and all those. If they wanted to develop us, they would have developed the continent. They didn't. They were just moving the people and the, and the minerals. And you just came 50 years. We have no excuse, though. But all that you see is how much we have failed. And all the corruption. All the African leaders are corrupt. Africa is a shithole. You sure? <laughs> it's a belief system. It's a, it's a negative belief system that has you've been conditioned by the media, by the education that they gave us, by the religion. But if, so they become limiting factors. So once you're an African, you think that, uh, especially those who live outside the continent, you tell us that they are so much in love with the continent. Are you really? <laughs> you just send money. You want your comfort. Ah, the problem is African leaders, but you're an African. So why don't you try the leadership yourself? If you're not happy with the presidency, come and take the challenge. You live somewhere and you say that the president must do this, the president must do that. Uh, how about you? Is the president not a human being? You are also a human being. If it's a continent, it's a continent. Nobody owns the country. You know, it's a limiting belief system. So you told a lie. Africa has bad leadership. Corruption is a problem. You know, we can't do anything. Yes, I agree. We have a lot of challenges, no doubt about that. We have a lot of challenges, and much of it is coming from the belief system, and it is it which is which is coming from the programming that they have given us. So, they say that oh, if you put a ship here, a lot of Africans will go. Why would they not go? Because human beings make decisions based based on the information that they are giving, okay, and the interpretation that they are getting from the environment. It's not because they just want a better life. There are people who are living in the, all these countries sleeping on the street. I told you that the devil, the devil is everywhere. It's not only in Africa. You know, so, so it, it, we've been conditioned to have limiting belief system on ourselves. Yes, there are challenges, but if you can look within and look at the other side of the limiting, there's a lot that you can do as an African. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's so many positive things that you can do here. You know, when we meet, when we, when we, meet, we talk and we discuss and largely... They are not about the prospects because we have been conditioned into a bad belief system. So usually when we are discussing, we hardly bring the prospects of the continent, of our country. All the discussions, all the things that you hear them about, eh? all the things who are the people who are talking and saying, oh, you hardly hear them post things that are for positive, that are for the future, that, that, can, that can bring the light and the power in the people. We talk about the things that we didn't do rightly. Most all the time. So what do you expect the people? They'll be frustrated. They'll be sad. They'll be angry. They'll be pain. Because the things that they are always hearing is not about the prospects. It's a bad belief structure that we have built for ourselves. How many people do you constantly hear who are highlighting the prospects, the advantages, the opportunities that we have on this continent, in our country? How many? Do you hear? Why? It's because the program is negative. It's negative. Yet there are a lot of prospects here. But until you, you question your belief system, until you start to look at yourself, until you start to look differently, you will never see the opportunities. <laughs> this is about the only country that you can start a business anyhow, anyhow. You can just can't open a kiosk somewhere and start to sell anything. When they come, you tell them that you just started. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are difficulties, but there are serious opportunities. Serious opportunities here that we don't look. Almost every sector needs an improvement. If you have good work, work ethics, you have good character, you can endure, you can see far, there's nothing that you cannot do as a person. But the limiting factors are many. So you are believing all the lies that they are telling us constantly constantly because the negatives are so much than the positive and that is the kind of environment that we live in and the people who live outside the continent who, who are from here my even the white people are more <laughs> a little bit kind. <laughs> they, they have some kind of kindness for towards us than our own people than our own people our own people because it's a wrong belief system that they have so can you look, can you start to envision, can you imagine, 
can you come up with new thoughts the things that will bring the, the super you know the, the, the superpower within you after identifying all the limiting factors can you look at the others other things that will bring the light out of you all the things that you're telling us I, I can't start that business who told you I don't have enough talent who told you I don't have I don't know anybody who told you you know yourself you are the power that you are waiting for you everything that you need is in you it's a strong belief system to believe that you have what it takes to create the life that you want and as a country we have what it takes to create the future that we want everything we have it here and so if you have nothing at all one of the best things that you can do to improve your belief system is that everything that you ever wanted to create the life that you ever want, you know, you ever wanted, is in you. And you have the strength, you have the power, you have the potential, you have the mind, you have the you have the time, you have the connections, you have the expertise. Those are the things that you, you tell yourself for you to build a belief system that can create the future that you want. Everything must be squarely opposite to that which everybody else is telling you. That's the kind of belief system that you build if you want to create the future that you want. <laughs> Even in the middle of all the confusion and the challenges, you tell yourself, I have what it takes to solve this problem. I have what it takes to create this future. I have what it takes. I have the connections. I have that. Those are the validations that you tell yourself. Hmm? And you empower yourself. That's how you build you build better belief system. Because without it, your actions will be wrong. Your character will be wrong. Your worldview will be wrong. You compromise on every a lot of things. You feel weakened. You feel like nothing. You are you are you are you you, you live like you're light, because your belief system. You are not validating yourself. You're not validating yourself. The environment has told us that, and you believe it. You don't have to. You don't have to believe it. So belief system is everything. It's more powerful than the education that they're giving you. It's more powerful than the degrees that you have. It's more powerful than any other thing that you think you have. Because without it, as a man thinks in his heart. <laughs> so, he is. That's what Jesus over said, ever. You all say, I, I am. I am. As Abraham was, I am. He said that. Because he believes so much in himself. With that, that strong belief system, nothing else can, you can achieve. Nothing. So everybody will be telling you otherwise. You believe it yourself. I have what it takes. I am. I'm complete. <laughs> I am complete. No matter what the situation, I can be eating yokogari for the next two months. I'll be very happy in eating that because I'm looking, I'm looking at the future that I'm creating. A strong belief system. So somebody else will be eating kelewele and he's crying. And you are eating kelewele, you are very happy. Because you're not thinking that you're eating the kelewele because you're poor. The moment that you accept that I'm poor, I'm, I'm, I'm lacking, I'm weak. I come from a poor background. You believe that? The father, your father was poor, that's not mean you are poor. The father had his life to live, you have your life to live. <laughs> you have your life to live. And you don't even need prayer for this, I tell you. It's a belief system. It's more powerful than any other thing that anybody can teach you. If a man has the right belief system, may not have education. But you can beat him. You achieve something with his life. But they can give you all the degrees. If you have a wrong, damaging belief system, those things will mean nothing. You can send you to all the top universities around the world if your belief system is wrong. If you believe that you are weak, you don't, you don't have what it takes. You don't have the mind. You don't have every. If you believe that, nothing you can achieve. Nothing you can achieve. So it's what you're telling yourself. That is what is making you a strong belief system. That is what creates. So you are what you are. Or we are what we believe we are. That belief system. All the things that it told us, the things you can you can improve it, you can change it, you can change it. Yeah, especially if the results after this one is the the results that you don't like, 
Don't hold on to them. Don't hold on to the lies that they told you about money. They told you a lot of things about money. So somebody comes with Land Cruiser, you think that he's rich because you are taking trotto. You sure? Not at all. You can be taking trotto and still convince yourself that you have what it takes to create the future that you want. So that when you take the trotto, it's not like it's a disadvantage. No, it's just a process. It's a state that you're going through. You know, so you are building a business, that business is struggling. You don't say that, ah, I, don't, I don't know. I have everything that I tried doesn't work. I don't know what to do. I am case. No. It's a belief system. If I can get you to believe that you don't know what you're doing and your case, you'll never move from there. You go and chase everybody for them to help you. But whatever that you need is in you. That's a belief system. You have what it takes to fight and keep on going. Nothing is more powerful than that belief system. Because that is what brings their ingenuity in all humans. Every human has supernatural power within them. Every human. Every human. Whether they believe in God, they don't believe in God, doesn't matter. The fact that they were created in His image, that force is in them. The only thing is that we've been conditioned to think that we are nothing. To think that we don't have that. Sometimes you see a man, because of poverty, you look at him, and he looks started. And I always ask, if this man had money, would I, would I talk to this man this way? If this man had some kind of privilege, if this man was the president, would I talk to him that way? The only difference is that the man is not aware that he has a lot to create his own life. And so he looks like life has beaten him. The same man, next time you meet him, or sometimes you meet some woman, you think that this man is ugly because of poverty. The same man, if you, dress, if you pick her and dress her, the same woman, you may, be, you may not be able to look at her twice. So everybody has that power. Everybody, every woman has that beauty. Every one of us. So it's the belief system. Don't let any, any media, don't let any education, don't let anybody make you believe that what you have, you're limited. Don't let anybody box you like that. Because our belief systems, they shape our thought, they shape our decisions, and they decide the success level that we have. And all the things that, the activities that we, we do every day with our lives, they are driven by our belief system. So if you believe that you are, you are. If you believe that you are weak, you are little, you are small, you continue to fail all your life, that will happen in your life. But if you believe that you have what it takes, you have the wisdom, you have the knowledge, you're complete. And if you don't have, if you are not aware, it's even in you that you can extract it and develop it. That will also work for you. And so that will help you to stop all the blaming. You will not blame anybody for any situation in your life. You will not blame the government, you will not blame the minister, you will not blame your mother, you will not blame all the things that you continue to blame. Because the blaming is coming from that wrong belief system. So you meet the other day, I met my cousin somewhere in Kumasa, you know, I met him somewhere and you were saying, you know, everybody is looking at their family and we, we are struggling. That's a wrong belief system. So I told him, Damasa, don't wait for anybody to help you. You have what it takes. If somebody sees the wisdom in helping you, that's fine. But how about if nobody sees any wisdom in helping you? Are you going to sit down and complain all your life? Waiting for help? There's always something. You have a nice watch on your hand. You can sell it and start from where you are. Every one of us has something that can help us to start from where we are. It's a belief system. And so he believes that he's struggling, yet he has a very nice watch with a nice phone. <laughs> and he's waiting for somebody to send him money. I don't get it. It's a belief system. And that one was wrong. You are wearing shirt. If you so believe that you need help, somebody should help you to start your business, go and sell that shirt. Because every one of us has what it takes. So your belief system is expressed. You know, it's been affected by the things that they told you about money, about God, about people, about character. How do you treat people? How do you treat people? Do you have time and respect people? Do you love people? Are you kind to people? Because the value you have for yourself is what you extend to people. 
how do you treat people the people especially the people that you don't need anything from how do you respect them do you have any sense of love for humanity or you just say that oh massa we are we are like the way them some people will say that so far witch not to do some some nonsense like that that they want to kill witches you, did you create any human being that you want to kill witch because <laughs> if it's a witch what is your problem somebody is a witch somebody is a malam it doesn't mean anything it's a witch let her stay where he is and you stay where you are you know so do you have value for human life that's a belief system they they, they get a, chief, a thief and they want to kill her die or some some people who see a young woman with mini skirt and they want to strip her naked you're crazy why it's a choice you didn't make her and you don't know what she's going through. Do you know that what that, that was the last quote that she had? If your heart is clean, people who are genuinely clean and loving never take advantage of another person because of their weakness. It's a belief system. Never. If your ethical is coming out of your belief system, you believe that me, if it's green, it's green. If it's yellow, it's yellow. I want to be honest. I want to be clean. I have, I have integrity. I work towards it. It's a belief system. It's a belief system. And it's a good one. Work ethics. Do you work hard? Or you just say that, oh, what? They leave you in charge of anything and you, you sell half, you take half. That's a bad belief system. It will destroy you. It will destroy you. You know, so it, it's, it's life. And a lot of our decisions are coming from our belief system. What is the kind of vision that you have? It's a belief system. Do you think that you can become somebody great? You just think that we oh, just uh, just do something and die and go and go and go to heaven. <laughs> go to heaven. So your belief system, uh, your belief system is actually the program that you have been through. Okay, and they shape the the, the way you look at life, the emotions and your thoughts, the feelings towards things, and the actions that you take. Okay, and they determine the results of our lives actually. Everything that we do is coming out of the kind of belief, the self-belief. They believe in our country. They believe in ourselves. They believe in people. They believe in human beings. Those are coming out of our belief system that we have. You know. So, thank you very much for watching. And it can be improved. Belief system can be improved. If you want to improve them, you can improve them. If I, if I work... Constantly, I'll improve my belief system. And I would want to spend all my life trying to improve that, the knowledge, constantly. Trying to become, to, to become better with my choices and my decisions than trying to buy things that are limiting me. You know, so don't don't buy limiting. If, if you feel the limiting beliefs, you can see it's ache. When somebody tells you something, say, you, you can't have that. It's like you become sad and unhappy. It's a limiting belief system. You don't want that. You want the one that makes you great and strong and powerful. That's what we all want. And any any time that you set your mind to do anything, do it. Never do never put your hand on something and, and go back because of what people are saying. No. If you start anything, continue to do it and make sure that anything that will lift you, then anything that will bring the best out of you and that is beneficial to people. And to your dreams, don't just try one and give up. It's a belief system that you have. Say that when I, once I, I get into something, I want to keep it going and I want to improve it. As a belief system, and forget about what people say. What people say don't mean nothing. <laughs> it's a belief system. Everybody else can give up on you if your belief system is right and is upgrading and is improved. One, nothing can stop you. So. If they're able to stop you, it's because your belief system was weak. <laughs> if anybody is able to stop you from going, because so far as you are present, nobody else can stop your dream. Because it's in your, it's in your system. It's a belief system. You say that, no, I'm, go I'm going to achieve this. And it's you. And nobody can stop you. Unless you want to stop yourself. So don't let the ones that limit, limit you. Get to the ones that bring the best out of you. And never limit yourself because you were born in Africa. And all the nonsense that they tell about black people and all those things, don't believe them. You are complete. You have the, 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 the mind, the spirit, the wisdom. You have what it takes to create the future that you want.
from where you are. And you have the network, you have the time, you have the money. You have everything that you need to create a future that you want. It's a belief system. If you believe you have it, you work towards it. If somebody cannot convince you that you're nothing and you believe it, and the way they have told Africans that they are nothing and they have believed it, and they are making jokes out of it, <laughs> how would you make joke out of somebody telling you that you are nothing? Never. Never. I will never take that from anybody. So thank you very much uh, for watching. And continue to validate yourself. Talk good words about you. Be angry when people, when you start to talk badly about yourself. Anything that makes you feel weak, don't embrace those. Embrace those that make you strong. Those things are the ones that build you. If there is nothing at all that you can take from Trump, eh? in spite of all the hatred that people have towards him, he doesn't use wrong words on himself. If he has to use any wrong word, he uses on the enemy, not on himself. He, he, he is, look at the words that he uses on himself. Okay, He doesn't use wrong words on himself. So I don't, I'm weak. I don't have what it takes. No, 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 no. So don't believe that. Validate yourself. Don't believe. Don't sit down and be talking nonsense all the time about yourself. Oh, you, you, you oh, your, your cloth is very nice. You know, I went to buy it from Makola. He's not asking you where you went to buy it. Is your clothes is nice? Say, Thank you very much. Yes, I, I, I chose it. It's nice. It doesn't matter how much it costs. You know, oh, you wrote this. It's impressive. Oh, you know, I didn't even know what I was doing. You, I just trying. Somebody is trying to say that what you're doing is good. Don't talk it down. <laughs> Don't talk it down. Believe it. Express it. Okay. Express it because belief system is everything. They will kill you if your belief system is weak. And the moment they make you to believe that you are inferior and you buy it, <laughs> and they have you. Don't let anybody say that, oh, you, you're a woman. Sure. I was in my mother's womb nine months, just as you are. Or just as you were. I'm a woman, so I don't have the brain. Oh. Oh. No. So don't let anybody talk you down. Never. Never. Even if they, they chain you, don't talk yourself down. If they come after you and they want to create fear in you, don't talk yourself down. Nobody can force you to be afraid except yourself. And the moment they create fear in you, they can use that to control you. So don't let any situation, no matter the, what life is, don't let any situation talk fear into you. <laughs> no. Because in, in the middle of that, you can talk fear and you can talk power. If you talk fear to kill you, if you talk power, you come out. <laughs> you come out. So don't lose your situation. Your situation has nothing to do with what is coming out of your mouth. What comes out of your mouth and what you process is because of what you believe you are. What you believe you are is what is what you're saying. It's not really the situation. Oh, we, we are very poor people. We can't do anything, you know. The way the, the, the president goes to the village and they say, say, President, if you don't come to do KVIP for us. <clears throat> no. Talk power. Talk strength. Don't talk weakness. That's a validation. So that's why, no matter the situation, don't tell me that we here uh, uh, we have bad leadership. Yes, bad leadership. And so what? Who doesn't have bad leadership in the industry? There are things that we have to do rightly for us to develop. It's more than just bad leadership. There are a lot of other things. But people are using that to, to kill our spirit and to kill our drive. And if you continue to hear that from the media, from the, the social media, or they are, you know, they, they are projecting the negatives as if there is no future for us. As if there is nothing good. That you can create what are the prospects i want to hear the young men and the women talking about the prospects the advantages of being here being born here being born in nigeria being born in kenya being born in ghana what are the advantages do you see can you see 
or you let those guys who are living somewhere who run away come to tell you or the negatives you think that they will tell you positive here no because they run away and they have to justify why they run away okay they have to justify that so they will never be very much happy if anything is going on rightly here i'm, I'm, I'm sorry but that's the fact that's why they, in order for them to convince themselves that oh going to america was a, a better decision for me then i must shoot everything down you know what is what is working here and if i hear anything later i have to you know Elaborate it. That's what that's what the white people do to Africa actually. In order for them to convince themselves that what they came to do all this while was right, then they have to project Africa as very weak people, which was better, you know, which what they came to do must be better than what we are doing for ourselves. And that builds a wrong belief system in the Africans. So they start to believe that. Never believe that. Talk strength. Talk positive. You have what it takes to build a business, to build your dream. You have the intelligence. You have the network. Those are the things that you start to talk of. Even if you don't see it, work towards it. That's, that's how you build a strong belief system. And don't tell me that you are not being realistic. Or who told you? Even if you have it and somebody is able to convince you that you don't have it, you lose, you, you lose the power to use it. What you have? It's a belief system. It's a belief system and they are always... Okay, so what you want is the one that will make you successful and continue to dominate. That's why you pump. If you want the team to win, you pump them. You don't tell them how bad they are. You tell them, listen, you have what it takes. If you want your son to do well in school, <laughs> in life, tell him, boy, you have all the brains. Have it. You want your child to see you as strong, tell him, listen, I'm not poor, I'm rich. He looks up to you as a rich father, and you are telling him that you are poor. Oh, you weaken his spirit. It's a belief system that you're building in him. Build the strong ones. Build, the, build on his strength. When they come to tell you that your son is not good in mass, okay, let him improve in the mass, but he's good in English. So you hammer the English. Boy, you're very good in English. You're very good. <laughs> And then you see that he builds the confidence because every word that you're speaking to him, he's speaking to him. He's speaking to him. So you build the confidence. You build, you validate them. That's a belief system. So don't use your condition to talk you negative. You say, I finished school, I don't have a job. All these words, I don't have a job. Why did I go to school? And everybody else is talking negative and you believe it. No, say that. No, I took two years to plan my life. Now I'm ready to go. You can turn every situation in your favor, no matter how dangerous it, it is, okay? No matter how much painful that experience was, you can still take. And that's a belief system that you build. You build a belief system to turn everything in your favor. And that's why you build. You become strong. You don't turn them to weaken you. You didn't have a mother. You didn't have a father. Yes. But now you're 18 years. What you don't know is that you're tougher than the one who had mother and father. <laughs> you do, you, but you are using that as an excuse because you have not worked on your belief system the moment you work on your belief system no condition feels your weakness you start the positive in them and you build on them and so thank you very much for watching thank you very much uh,